Okay, I, I heard your comments. <laughs> Uh, lots of you caught that I absentmindedly terminated my contract with uh, all the field heating oil. <laughs> so we've uh, we've rectified that. It's fine. Let's uh, let's proc over a new day and see what we can get up to on the ES and DT on this fine uh, evening for now, but no longer evening. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else for me to do today. And if there was, well, we didn't do it. So too bad. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and yes, we are playing Railroader today. Once again, continuing the series. Uh, I know I'm a, I was a little late with it. Usually I post these Thursdays. Uh, this is coming out now Friday. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I mean, that was just... Um, uh, we had some Century Steam stuff. I had to get a devlog done, and it uh, kicked my butt a little bit. So yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that added up to be quite a lot, so... Hopefully, uh, hopefully y'all don't mind, and hopefully understand, and uh, if you're a patron of Cent uh, Century Steam slash Studio 346, I hope you watched that video, and I hope you really liked it, because uh, it did kick my butt, and it wasn't as good as I wanted, but uh, it's still really bloody cool, and I'm very pleased with it. But anyways, uh, we're playing Railroader, so we're gonna, we're gonna play that. We're gonna focus on this game. Uh, where are our trains? Let's look at our day here. We've got the four here at Bryson. We have um, probably something at nothing at Whittier. I didn't leave anything at Whittier. Okay, it's been a, it's been a minute since I've played. I was uh, out at uh, my buddy Layton, the quarter idiot, to his bachelor party uh, this past weekend. So um, it feels like everything is uh, <laughs> every, everything is uh, all over the place. We got an engine at interchange. The five, the ones on the passenger train, got two engines at Dillsboro and the. Uh, in the shop and we're gonna kind of figure out what uh, what's going on on this day so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna use what we learned and we're gonna put cars on our switch list here just by clicking all of the stations just to kind of see what we have uh, let's see clean up the thing oh it already added some oh maybe I maybe I was supposed to finish up some switching and I didn't oops far be it for me to uh, not remember what I did in a video game a week and a half slash two weeks ago basically at this point so anyway, we'll turn on tab mode obviously it got a car for Silva interchange right there and we're gonna build our stuff here and um, we could we could take a big loan I've realized I do have I've got a $59,000 loan but the max is so much higher we, we could get CTC started couldn't we I should probably should have done that before I rolled the day over honestly um, not that, not that CTC is really gonna matter so much, but yeah. Our network service on passenger went down to 33% because of our experiment. Oops. And our safety rating, thank God that went down. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we needed that to go down, so uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Uh, do we get our farm supply? Okay, cool. And here's Whittier and Holy crap. Oh, that's right. These are all the uh, the sawmill cars. We won't worry about those. Uh, I realized adding those cars to the switch list was kind of unhelpful in my in my case, in the way that my brain is organized, because it felt as though um, it, it did made the switch list cluttered with all this junk that I just like know that's a unit train that runs to um, runs up. So it's the log job, remember? So. Uh, we don't need to separate that out mentally, so well, let's go see. What do we have at Wilmot? Oh, Slay Micah is ready to go. That's good. Got a lot of stuff for interchange today. So we'll go over to Dillsboro. Uh, and thank you to uh, whoever's from Appalachia Land and said that it's pronounced Coey, not Cowie. And also, I definitely said this is Tennessee and apparently it's North Carolina. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. It's fine. Um, I'm really good at geography. That's why you watch this YouTube, because I'm an expert on that stuff, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> far from it. So anyway, um, getting our stuff figured out and lo lots of fun ideas that people had about 
other tests we could try with the passenger train after we did that last one. Uh, and I realized that a lot of folks said put the engine in the middle and then just run it. And one, that would be cursed. Not that some of the stuff I do isn't cursed. Uh, but two, then then the passenger cars don't have full bone. Like, it's you're not getting the double bonus at that point, right? Because each set of cars just has the one observation. So you don't gain anything from that. So I think we're just going to run it this way. And maybe we'll run around it with the two observation cars and call it a day. And eventually we'll make a second passenger train that we'll probably just shuttle around. Because we're lazy anyways. Holy crap. Oh, oh my word. How many cars did we get at interchange? Oh my goodness. 24 cars. Holy tamole. Crap. Okay. All right. We we said, hey, we want more contracts to move more cars. And the game said, I bet. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a switch list now. We're going to have... I'm glad we got some bigger choo-choos. Because goodness me, we need them now. Oh, my word. 24 cars at interchange. Oh yeah, we, we totally, we totally didn't finish switching the paperboard. That's all right, that'll make it easy. That'll make it easy, that's fine. Okay, yeah, wow, oh my, oh, it, it takes up more than one track. And we've got some Draco and Silverton cars. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm glad we've got this big choo-choo as wrong as its pipes are. And uh, thank you so much for the, the discourse on that video. Um, and I, and I, I recognize that I was still being a little negative and folks uh, kind of perceived that. So I'm, I'd like to apologize for that. Um, it frustrates me, but that, that you know, that uh, that's not the best attitude to take. Uh, I don't know if you're into the science behind YouTube and uh, what people do on YouTube, but uh, you, if you're negative on the platform, uh, even seemingly, uh, it's it's not good. People don't like it. The algorithms are not happy, and and uh, most people are not into it. Which is whatever. I, I was just trying to be realistic, but um, I can understand that uh, you know you guys come to this content for not that sort of discourse, not talking about things being wrong or done wrong or done poorly. Um, so. I apologize for that. That's that was not you know I didn't want to rile folks up or or say that people are doing stuff wrong. So anyway, um, and a lot of people gave a lot of uh, a lot of good suggestions on uh, ways that I could teach the same thing but in a better light. So uh, I really genuinely appreciated the the discourse there that we had in the comments. So thank you guys. Um, just know that uh, I'm not perfect. I, I don't always know what to say, and I don't always know how to say it the best. I'm just a simple human that likes trains and wants to teach people about them and have fun with them. But it looks like our passenger train's loaded now that we've uh, procced the an hour over a little bit. So we'll get uh, we'll get the passenger train a, a work in here and then we'll we'll start settling in with uh, the rest of our day here and kind of figure it out because we we know we've got a westbound, we know we've got an eastbound, we know we've got a log job, um, <clears throat> and we got a paperboard switcher. So that's. Um, that's kind of that. So I'm, I guess I'll run, I'll run one of these engines over to switch the paperboard. Paperboard. And they're, they're not too bad off on fuel and water. Probably ought to fill them up anyways. There we go. We'll run this thing over, fill it full of coal and get it sent to the paperboard and then we'll do logs with uh, one of the other ones. He's <laughs> uh, god. These two engines are still I mean a lot of people say I should sell them and go to bigger engines and that's probably a good idea. But this is the ES and DT and we will uh beat our engines into the ground mercilessly for the bit. So Oh, that that works for coal spotting? Okay, fair enough. We'll leave it there. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to. I don't want to sell the the two, two, the two, two. I don't want to sell any of these uh, locomotives or cars uh, if I can avoid it. I mean, obviously we sold the caboose, but that's for people and um, and serves no purpose other than flavor text. Um, so you know, it, it's not useful to us. 
so we got rid of it, but locomotives are useful. So, we're gonna keep them, and we're just gonna beat them to death. And, uh, you know, run, run them like we stole them. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. So, we'll get this guy filled up. Get him over to the paperboard. I guess get the eastbound, or the westbound running. Because that's gonna be the train of all time. Um, I mean, seriously, road, forward, full beams. Let's run it. Uh, okay, it's lined out. And then we'll line him in here at Dillsboro. And yeah, then it, he's got to wait for the passenger anyway. And I guess we can then just swing this thing around. Kapow. A little more. A little more. A little more. Tunk. All right, and then get this guy going. Oh yeah, like a running six turn. Get this guy fueled up, loaded, and everything. I guess I didn't fuel and load him before I put him away. So we gotta we gotta get that sorted, and then we'll kind of we'll keep the railroad run in here. <laughs> Shiny, beautiful locomotives that have been fixed by the Dillsboro uh, engine crew here. Oh, we got two sets of whistles going on. Why are you still whistling for the crossing, bud? You're a little late. That's funny. All right. I guess we'll line him all the way to the paperboard. Who asked you? River? Why is the river steaming? That's kind of funny. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll just line this switch against him. Get him set up to start switching. And get you lined for water. The three. One has made it. I don't. I don't know if there's been any updates to Railroader or not. Um, I haven't been paying attention. I guess it says on the main menu. Maybe I should. Uh, I should check that real quick and kind of see what um, if there's been any updates. Or I guess I could check the uh, check the Discord. Let's look and see. Is there is there any new exciting things? Now it's been three weeks, no updates. All right. Well, I hope that just means that we're getting a bigger update to AI or something the next time we do have an update. Uh, software is not simple. Software is not easy. Software is not fun much of the time, as I've found out. Um, so I trust that Adam's working hard on something cool. And, uh, and the rest of the team too so I'm sure it'll be good stuff all right have you I guess I haven't heard the chicka chicka or did I miss it no it has there it is yeah okay 172 bucks nice oh and special thanks to everyone talking about the log cars I didn't realize that um, you get paid for the log cars in in the log hee <laughs> hee ha ha apparently at midnight yeah 200 tons of pulp wood nine night oh my god holy crap that's a ton of money that's way more money than any of the just spotting cars i had no idea it made that much money fifteen hundred dollars with the logs Oh my god, we gotta... We, okay, we need to fix... We need to fix our train cars! <laughs> and we need to... Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's the way to make money in this game, is serve the industries with cars that you own! Holy crap! I had no idea! That's amazing! Wow! Okay, that's the secret, ladies and gents, is... Uh, get, um... Get the sawmill doing the thing i mean you guys probably already knew this you guys play a ton more than i do because i tend to only have time to play if i'm filming it so 
Wow, that's um, that's the move right there. Goodness me. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, let's grab the this choo choo. Hi. Mm-hmm. And we'll run around the train and then uh, get the uh, the westbound going. I do. I do like. I do like the way that the engine looks. It's a good looking engine from from this far away. And I, and I think you're, uh, the the overwhelming comment on the last video complaining about it was that uh, treat it like a model railroad and look at it from far away. And I and that and that's that's the lens that I should be using. I mean, it it really is. You guys are absolutely right. But uh, those of us that work on these things tend to look at things in a in a bit of a different way up close. Even the models like will look at and make commentary like that. So anyway. Oh crap, we can't run around on this track, can we? <laughs> Ding dong, the witch is dead. I feel like the whistle being mounted that way would just be heinously loud for the firemen. Yeah, sorry, we aimed it at you. <laughs> it's fine. One of these days, I want to I wanna run the passenger train and see how fast I can run it. I'd probably want to use this engine for it because the the um, the Atlantic's eensy weensy. It's got big drivers, but it doesn't have the wavos to get up and go that fast. So, anyways, I'm gonna get this train put together and I'll, I'll chat with you in just a minute. You know, I was putting together that East Pounder, um, and I thought real quick, like if I have to buy cars, I should do it now before I get my Eastbound rolling. Uh, and I've realized that, yeah, Whittier now wants 11 cars of logs a day. And then the paperboard and tannery want four um, and five cars a day. So I need nine pulpwood cars and 11 log cars to su uh, sufficiently fill the capacities of these industries now. Um, and <laughs> I only have the nine log cars and I don't remember how many um, pulpwood cars I have. I think I have seven, but it sounds like I need nine. So I need to buy some cars, I think. Oh, that's, we're going the wrong way there. We ended up in Dillsboro. What are you idiots doing down here? You said you've been stopped at the switch forever and you, uh, they just don't know what they're doing. That's fine. Yeah, we only have seven. Okay, so we'll buy two more pulpwood cars and two more uh, log flat. Shut up! Figure it out, man! <laughs> Alright, he's confused and he's probably murdering his water supply while being confused. No, he's not, actually. Okay, well, that's fine. Anyway, uh, so I guess we'll buy those cars somewhere where there's not a locomotive that thinks it can move another two inches. Um... <laughs> <laughs> buy buy a couple of those. Let's see. We're gonna have to take a loan out further though Finance probably grab five grand to call it a day Actually, maybe we'll grab more because milestones Signals Whittier to Bryson is only ten grand. Okay. We're, we're doing that. We're We're gonna we're gonna do that and that means that we'll we'll be able to do that tomorrow, but It's fine signals start the first thing. All right cars are ordered They'll show up to start um, at interchange tomorrow, which uh, that'll be another day. But we got it started. We should have done that the first thing, but we didn't know what we're doing. Good, figure it out, dude. <laughs> that that poor Choo Choo is just confused. Anyway, uh, we want to purchase two of those skeleton cars. I ordered one, but I think I ordered two. It only said I ordered one, but I think that's just uh, UI stuff. And then we want to get two of the, yeah, pulpwood racks. And how many dollar dues do we have left over? All said and done. Locations, finance. Enough that we can, uh, we can pay back a thousand. And the loan increases. That's okay. But that means that uh, theoretically those cars showed up. There they are on that other track. So we'll uh, we'll go grab them. And this is this is becoming the most obnoxiously large train of all time. It's fine. 
Uh, which box is it? That's oh, this guy will pull through a handbrake. I guess my complaints earlier were about locomotives with no huevos, so that would uh, that would do that. Although uh, <laughs> engines with small huevos will still pull through handbrakes, but that's okay. I would rather have the uh, the brakes feel as good as they do than uh, than be able to pull through handbrakes. So. I think our passenger trains made it to Wilmet. We haven't even started the east or the westbound. The eastbound? The eastbound. This is the westbound. Have we been calling this one the eastbound? Directions are hard. Especially when you're presenting. You get into a mindset and you're doing stuff. Alright. I guess we'll drop the pulpwood cars at the paperboard. And we'll take the log cars to Whittier. So it would have been nice if they would have spawned in in a different order. So we're gonna have to do more switching. I already did a little switching because this giant mess of crap. Uh, <laughs> this car for Dillsboro uh, was with the cars for Bryson. So we got five cars for Bryson this time. That's nice. Th this, is, this is a lot of cars. 26 cars, 1333 tons. That's a lot. What are you dinging your bell for? Are you still? You're still confused. You're just gonna be confused till the end of time. But he's not using, uh, he's not using any fuel or water at least, so. Yeah. We're gonna have to repair our other cars. I don't know the, I don't know what condition we've left them in because we didn't think they mattered. 66, 97, 92, 60, okay, well, some of them have been binned harder than other ones. Half of this cut just needs to just go live in the shop. It'd be neat if we could get a car shop in the game, um, specifically, because the the ethos of the car shop, the, the way that they're set up is different than a locomotive shop. They're very much, well, in this era, uh, the modern day locomotive shop actually kind of ends up flowing like a a car shop does a little bit because modern day diesel locomotives are just kind of uh, all the same. So you just put them through the assembly line. Really? No securement? No handbrakes? Okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but like the roundhouse is not ideal for fixing cars. So you have to pick one specific thing and work on it, right? Like you have to pick that thing from that stall. Uh, and run it across the turntable, and, and so it doesn't make a ton of sense to maintain cars at a roundhouse, um, which is what most of the shops are. The, the engine house at Whittier is kind of, kind of like a car shop in, in some vein, um, but not really, but kind of, but not really. <laughs> this poor, sad, confused choo-choo. He's just gonna remain being confused. But we'll pull that in, get the passenger train sorted again, and then we'll go. Uh, obviously, last time I asked about uh, if folks want to come play on the ESNDT, and I'm serious, I, I think it would be fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, so many of you were like, yeah, yeah, I'll come do that. Um, uh, the game only has 32 players, and I only have five engines. Um, and I had at least 100 people comment or ask or uh, DM or whatever about doing it. So um, I'm not sure how I will sort that out. I'll probably have a celebrity guest on, quote unquote. Have Jersey or... Uh, oh, why am I lining it through the yard? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Jersey or uh, somebody like that, maybe. But uh, Jersey wasn't around when I'm filming, so... Oh well, I'm playing by myself. But the game is still really fun when you play just by yourself. You just don't get quite as much done. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, I, I do want to do a community night stream or something at some point, but um, again, like, I don't know how we get 32 players. Um, and how do we pick those people? I'm, I'm, I'm not smart about organizing that sort of stuff, so we'll do the best we can. So bear with me and, and all that, and we'll, and, and we'll get it figured out. Oh, look at you. No, the Not the 19. Um, I guess we can look at our switch list. 
Where is our switch list? That one. That one. Location. Oh, I guess all those locations just changed. Um, because they're all at Silva now. Uh, I thought there was one at Bryson. Is there not one at Bryson? Paperboard. No, I don't. Oh, Appalachian Hardwood. Okay. The GT and I car. Yep. Get that. This one looks like I actually fueled and watered it up before uh, we did anything. But Appalachian Hardwoods is one of the uh, industries back over yonder. So we'll go do that. Go get that car and keep things rolling here on the ES and DT. All right, backing up. Full beans. Full beans. How about some more beans there, Mr. Taggart? I think y'all have had about enough. It's gonna be buried, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. All right, well, that's at least lined in. He'll run that far. The other engines, yeah. He's uh, pulled up and spotted here at the paperboard. And the, the two is still confused. Where am I going? That's, um, that's a lot of cars. That is a crap ton of cars. Yeah, we're gonna do a little switching and uh, we'll meet you back shortly. All right, I said I was gonna come back after I'd done the switching, uh, but I've actually realized that other than the confused locomotive, good heavens, shut up. Um, I'm running into a precision scheduled railroading problem. Um, this, this is the longest train I've run yet and it doesn't clear yet. It might railroad or clear. It might game clear, but it doesn't clear physically. Um, although this is where the AI decided to stop, not where I can stop. So we will we'll pull up a little bit, but uh, I had to giggle at that, that, uh, that uh, <laughs> we actually have a train this long that it doesn't work. But anyway, so this guy, you know what, we'll, we'll I, no, I don't want to run this engine over the road because it's bad. It has no capacity for anything. So we'll send we'll send him to go do the thing. Oh, but we're gonna have to yeah, I'll put a fusee down. <laughs> All the engines in one place. I have to set out these cars for him to deal with. Um, and then I also need to grab all the paperboard stuff out of the middle of this cut. Although, actually, I could just shove back on this whole mess now. Right, so we could just scooch in. Scooch in the whole consistent. Get you out the way there. Number four is looking at another train, which is good, which means he's finally made it to Appalachia Hardwoods. Which is fine. Coupling on the fly is fine. Dunk. Um, and then we'll stop him there, and then we'll have him... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do with these cars now, actually. So we may have done this um, the wrong way. I want to shift click that so that the air gets undone. There we go. Because I can't drop these up to it. Because <laughs> I'd have to get in the clear there. Not enough space. Not enough uh, ability to gain that much speed. You could stop rolling. That would be really cool. Excuse me. All right. I 
I ran the engines full of stern and it didn't slow down at all. Okay, it's fine. So we'll kick those. Gain some diff distance. Grab. Oh no. So close. Okay, we're gonna grab the stuff for the paper board. We'll stack it on top of these guys. Just that's a whole mess of crap to pull out. Cause it's everything for Parsons Tannery and the paperboard. So it's all this this red block of cars. Grab those, stack them on top of that. And then we can run the wood, the log jaw. Actually, he'll be on that end of it. He'll just be able to bang into those on his way. That'll just work. We'll just leave him on the main. So we can do that. Let's try and let's try and switch a couple things at the same time. We're gonna do uh, one boy, two trains. Let's uh, don't look that up, kids. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna run this thing, and we'll just run him over to the the other cut of cars. Well, uh, well, it's not it. Well, we'll just reassign the the cars. It's fine. We'll get there when we get there. All right. So we gotta grab this whole mess. That closed the air. Yes, it did. All right. Come on. Pull it. It's only 812 tons. You'll you'll survive, poor sad little ten wheeler. So we let that do the thing. And we'll just run this thing at the beans at the beans speed. It's fine. <clears throat> ah, the trains made it to Whittier. Passenger train makes more money than you'd think. It's pretty nice. Hello! I like money! He says, probably slamming into a car very dangerously. It's, uh, how good are the brakes? Not that good. Got it. Got it. It's fine. We're, we're not... Letting that be, uh, that other train's not running away by itself. Alright, let's see how long our pawn can stay there. Bang into these cars. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why'd you have air on you? Oh. Bang. For good reason, Heist, that's why. Alright. Let that go. That's very clear, the switch. Oh god, it doesn't have any air hooked up at all. How good is your uh, independent? Pretty good? Let's just cut the air in real quick on the fly. <laughs> then back this mess up. And then we'll just clobber the uh, the crap out of those couple cars with that. You've made oh you haven't made it clear the switch yet. Come on, come on. Gotta get past the switch that you're on, friendo. We're multitasking. This game is an ADHD nightmare sometimes. only led to every derailment I've ever had. <laughs> Not all of them. I have to blame myself for some of them. Come on. Alright. And the brakes are off on those guys, so when we do decide to just violently clobber them to death with these rolling cars, it'll be okay. And this is all the crap for the paperboard, so the rest of this crap can go back on the westbound. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't, that shouldn't derail. It shouldn't derail. It might get a little brown. It's fine. 
Bang! A ah, small amount of brown. It's fine. A little brown. It's like a Maillard reaction. Like a little little browning on that steak never hurt anyone. In fact, it was very tasty. <laughs> That's right, kids. A good train car is like a good steak. It's been burnt to a crit. What? Hang on. That's not what I said. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. The log job. It's a lot of pulpwood cars. I don't think Barker's Creek will hold more than three. Barker's Creek is convenient, but it's also small. Maybe it'll hold four. I don't know. Are you about to murder that other train? Probably. Get back down to, you know, normal speed here, and then... POW! Let's get this sorted. Is that guy going too fast for that switch? I don't think so. I think he's fine. Yeah, they're backwards. Actually, we'll, we will AI this guy. And put down a fusey, like, over there. Way up there. Oh, the switch isn't lined for him. Boo hiss. And we'll make a nice little hitch here. Kablam! Alright, cut the air back in. Untie the brake. You can leave those there uncut there. Why'd you guys stop? Fine. We will bang into these uh, these cars and send the westbound on its way. Where does it have setouts? Locust Pin, Slay Mica, Wilmet House, Ella, Ella, Breaks, Ouch, um, Ella Stenzel, which is Whittier, Whittier Sawmill, Bryson. Okay, so you you can run. You can run to, I guess, um, Locust Pins, the first one. Dillsboro, and two at Wilmot. And then Whittier, then Ella, then Bryson. Okay. So yeah, just go, go do that hoodoo that you, you do so well. Full beans, full beans, Mr. Taggart. All right, and then we will line him in at... Dillsboro. Actually, we'll just put a few Z down, and we'll do the switching when we get there. Passenger train's been sitting on its butt, doing nothing. Gotta keep that going. So much to do. Wobble, wow, wow. <laughs> Why do those lyrics just live rent-free in my head? Smash Mouth doesn't deserve living in my head. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, well, we will we will cut the air there. I'm gonna pull this guy ahead. Get him spotted over in the hole so that we can then run the log job into these new cars and then we'll kind of figure out where we can load what and when and why. Ideally we'd get uh, get it so that it needs six units of pulp wood and then we could just uh, load six of, you know, like two loads of three at Barker's Creek. Or maybe we should just load all the crap at uh, Connolly Creek and call it a day. <laughs> I 
I'm curious to see when um, Walker gets in involved because there's that big logging setup with the uh, the switchbacks and everything. I don't uh, I don't see myself needing more logs than Connolly Creek can produce for a while. So, but I'm sure it'll happen at some point. All right, reverse, full beans. Get this guy in the hole. Switch out the paperboard. I guess we gotta go check on the eastbound too. We gotta, we gotta go get that car. We gotta get that eastbound moving. Just work. Those guys are doing stuff. The five is on its way. It's almost Dillsboro. <laughs> Always another thing to go uh, look at and do. All right. Hello, you. Become a manual train. All right. Let's not clobber the box. Car. Okay. Let's clobber the box. Oh no. No. See. Fine. She's fine. Ninety-nine percent. We, we didn't claw, but we just kissed it. We just kissed it a little naughtily. It's a naughty kiss. All right. Bang. Got him. Yeah, I guess we'll just kick this back into place. Set the set the hopper out right here. Kick the uh, the box back into place, and we'll do that. That makes sense. That'll work. Do the dance, little choo choo. Do it. Okay. Come on, clear. Here we go. Kicking. And break it. Hopefully that doesn't roll past. Literally doesn't slow down if it's over the uh, cutoff speed. <laughs> it's a wee bit silly. That's all right. Management, management sim. Sure. Oh, come on! So close to perfection. Come on! Bang! All right. Let's go. Westbound or eastbound and down. All right. Go to Bryson. Just track in the yard. Do we want to run through? I, I think I've got my. It's not a perma fusey. Actually, I don't even have a fusey for the uh, passenger train. We'll uh, we'll run him through track two. Why not? Is that other labeled? I don't know. Be interesting to know the. Uh, the schema, because the the naming of tracks in train yards, uh, and the numbering and the the whole nine yards there is just <laughs> it's just a cluster. It uh, doesn't make any sense usually, because they change and morph over time. And it might be it might have been simple when they built it, but boy, wasn't simple for long. That's for sure. All right, what are these guys all doing? Okay. You're about ready to do the thing here. All right, I'm going to get the log job working. We're going to keep the trains moving here, and uh, we'll catch you in just a little bit. You ever forget about your passenger train? Leave it on the main. And then almost have two trains stare at each other because you planned on meeting at Gov Island and then forgot to line the other choo-choo around. It's fine. 
Happens to me all the time. I just did it. <laughs> Whoopsie. Carry on. Keep going. Cause yeah, the uh, there's the, the what eastbound. Eastbound. That way. Right is east. Yes. <laughs> Westbound's uh, switched out Dillsboro with only uh, one incident that involved moving the player character. The log job is chasing it, and the paperboard switching has not even begun. But we'll get there. It's fine. Okay, he runs in there. Yoink. And then we can just go to Bryson and just line that switch for the passenger train. Alright, switch is lined. Passenger train will stop. We'll run around it for flavor. Oh, they're right on each other's heels there. I guess the five is pulling the world's longest train. Uh, and my, my world, I haven't seen a train longer than this yet. So. <laughs> so it's slow, and, and the, the following section of the log job <clears throat> is doing just fine. <laughs> so I guess we'll switch out, start switching the paperboard. Paperboard. With this cute little 10 wheeler. All right, S1, that's where I've got a whole pile of garbage in there. Two for the PWs, and then a couple for Parsons. Oh God, those gotta go in there. And then R1B, oh, this is a mess. It's always a mess. Well, we can leave the stuff for Parsons right here. And then R1B we take with us, we can put the We'll kick the paperboard PW1s. We'll kick those back on there. Gotta keep an eye on the five and the three. <laughs> and my my few Z hack has worked for the number four. I guess we'll go deal with him real quick. Manual. Be an easy change, it would make me feel so good if I didn't have to click multiple times. It's fine. Yeah, we'll uh, keep this rolling and we'll see how the, the paperboard switch in goes. I was about to just jump, leaving this train careening towards this car at <laughs> 10 mile an hour. <laughs> There we go. It's fine. It's fine. Mine. Mine. Bang. Got him. Real quick, ADHD jump over to the paperboard. Look at that. It's cleared. Perfect. All right. Come on. Deal with it. Deal with it before I gotta go deal with Ella. All right, I gotta go deal with Ella. Come on, come on, get past the switch. Okay, there we go. I'll just get you rolling that way and then jump back over. It's fine. We're, uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, hang on, they're almost a Barkers. God, everything's gotta happen all at once. And you were supposed to just kick. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's all gone sideways. Let's switch it. Barker's lined. It is lined for the main. That's good. Okay. That engine's just drifting there, Adela. Let me get past the switch here. Kick the stuff for PW1 on top of the stuff for the tannery. And then we will continue on with what we were doing. Nothing like kicking a hundred tons of coal here. Let's 
six mile an hour, it'll, it'll be fine. I won't get to it going too, too stupid quick before it runs into anything else, right? There we go. Line the switch. Oh, Lord. Sometimes it feels like they stop on a dime, and sometimes not so much. It's all right. All right, we'll just kind of let that drift for a sec. Line into those cars. We'll put those cars over on the side there, and... Maybe we'll Dutch drop them into the siding. Maybe that's the move. <clears throat> Keep the main clear. I think that is the move. Oh crap, no, we forgot the Barkers. You were supposed to stop. Plug it. Go, go be in the right spot. For yard. Road. Forward. <laughs> go go up here and think about your sins. <laughs> I'll go deal with the number four. I'm jumping around. Five trains is great. Five trains is also a lot. I really should have gotten a guest for this episode. Whoopsie. Road forwards. Go. Go do the thing. On the switch. Um... I put all that crap on the switch list and then I haven't even looked at the switch list. Pretty sure there's crap at Whittier to pick up though. Yeah. Couple cars at Whittier to pick up. Alright, we'll line you over. And uh, yeah, we'll just put a uh, little fusee right there. And we'll do some switching. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to keep the day rolling here, and we'll check in with you in just a minute. All right, well, we're at East Whittier here, and I just put together the big train for the log job. I'm going to need a bigger engine for this, I swear. The 3 has been a solid locomotive, but uh, there's a lot of cars for it. As far as empties, I mean, it'll, it'll be worse when it gets loaded shortly here, but uh, basically just going to line it up into the, the first position here. I believe it's L1. I don't remember which track it is. L1 and P1 are the two tracks that I use here. And I think the skeletons go on that one. I think. I think. Let's go look. Because it uh, doesn't pop up in the tab menu. Connolly Creek. That one. Oh, L1 is there. And the P1 is there. Okay, so the pulpwood cars go there. The log cars go there. So we'll just line the AI in all the way there. And he's going to just get close to the bumping post and call it a day. Passenger train's on the way to Whittier. <laughs> the four spots been waiting at Dillsboro. Um, and then the two spot, we have, we have not switched out the paperboard at all. Uh, everything else has been too much to manage. So uh, that's kind of what's been going on. But uh, I guess... Uh, uh, this guy's going to be in the way of the passenger train shortly, so um, we'll do this next. we got a spot stencil. Let's tie a brake there. Big Pacific. Big choo-choo. It's got uh, like 79 or 80 inch drivers, so it scoots. Uh, I was just chatting with a good friend of the channel, Annie Matter, resident Pennsylvania Railroad foamer. Uh, good friend, wonderful human. Um, and I guess he's figured out how to turn off derailments in the game um, and has gotten this thing up over 100 mile an hour, depending on the grades. But I guess it's the one engine that'll do more than 90 natively in the game. Uh, and I've not had an excuse to run that fast, that's for sure. Um, oh, goodness. Here goes the log train, here comes the passenger train. Lost to check that Atlantic. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a little low on water. It needs uh, maybe I can get it to spot for water just perfectly. It's running tender first. 
If I put it there, maybe it'll maybe it'll do a do. I don't know. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I almost want to run like just a fast passenger and just have the rest of the trains maybe run by players or something, um, and see how fast I can actually run. What is what is the speeds you like? What are the speeds you can achieve with that browning the train? Because it shows like the super crazy restrictions on the, the map, but doesn't say anything else. And they kind of said like, yeah, like man, keep it under forty, you'll be fine. But through Gov Island, like you got to be able to scoot through there. Like, there's nothing to that. So maybe uh, I mean, obviously we're going to be playing with signals. Hopefully next time. Well, oh, well, we have to spot the. Um, Bring the cars in to get the signal, so that'll be another day. Oh, so close. No cigar. It's fine. We'll fix that. But yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be super fun to run a uh, just a crazy speedy boy. Oh, you've already unloaded all two fares. Okay. Is that close enough? That's close enough. We'll fill you up with water. get this guy out of there so that was his last spot there and then he's got four cars for Ella Wow um, it feels like Ella is one of the smaller flag stops on the on the on the railroad I mean Ella and Wilmot for places that have sidings they're not just uh, passing tracks or whatever I mean they feel like the smallest so four cars feels like a lot well, that's all right, and then we're we're really kind of getting the a little bit more of the Bryson experience with five cars for it. So I think um, the whole railroad's going to end up being a bit of a thing. So leveling up the industry is definitely helpful, and you guys gave such wonderful comments and help um, in the comments about industries and how to level up. You, based on what uh, what I've read. Um, you really have to service industries for multiple days um, and do a good job servicing them and then to work okay i was gonna say what you're 138 ferris we, we we had two people get off and that's how long we were stopped two people jumped off um before it was stopped uh for long enough it's funny but uh, we'll line that you know we'll just line that switch against and that'll be great and then that'll get to Whittier. Passenger train will keep rolling. I'm gonna have to switch Dillsboro, but I'm gonna keep the passenger train going. Um, oh, but it might still, is it still, it's still taking on water. Oh my God, we're gonna go switch the paperboard. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we've just left this basically in the same exact spot. It's fine. All right, let's dig these cars out. These are all cars for the interchange. I want to make a big stack of crap for the interchange in the siding here and actually make sure that it gets there this time because uh, that's what I found. I found that um, every time I play Railroader and then I don't finish what I'm doing, like I play it for the YouTube and I don't finish what I'm doing and I come back, um, I assume that I did everything and then I didn't so Wake up everybody come on N NASA they have a coal hopper. It's fun Got a DNRG and a NASA car in the same train and a feck feck it feck it It's grand All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pull ahead, get past the switch. I guess while we're doing a facing movement this way, we will kick these to start. That's the move. We will kick all the interchange cars, and we'll come get them in a second. We'll get up to a couple mile an hour here. Give them a little kick. Use a little air. That one goes to R1B. 
that's inconvenient. The stuff for S1. Alright, well, hang on. We know what we could do here. Just do that. <laughs> kick that into those. And now these guys we will kick <clears throat> into the into the switch. Assuming that we can make sure that things clear in time. Come on, come on. Get past. Let me throw the switch. 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 Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Kick those. Let them go to their destination. And then we'll go catch these guys. And then we will Dutch drop all the interchange cars into the siding. Call it a day. Kapow! Deliver those cars. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Love to see it. God, the paper... The paperboard is such an involved industry. Um, how big it is and everything, but it just, it really does not pay at all because it's so close to the interchange. You're not moving cars far. It's all about distance, which is what you do on the railroad, but yeah. I guess, you know, thinking about it, probably distance per car, you know, the half mile there for 50 bucks is probably way better than the 15 mile or whatever it is to Bryson for... Um, <laughs> for, for, you know, 80 bucks. Okay, we gotta get going un with enough speed. Pull the pin. They're kind of on a hill there, so it, I don't know if it's gonna work. It's the world's longest switch. Oh, those, so are, those are totally not gonna roll into there. Still going uphill. They're still going uphill. They're still going uphill to the switch. Those are just going to sit there, and they're going to be really obnoxious about it. Cool. Uh, I'm going to let them roll past the switch, and then time down. I think that's the uh, that's the big move there. Don't let them roll. Don't let them. Don't foul the switch with these cars. And and when we go through and grab. Uh, those guys we can go and get uh, go get them so as are everything else passenger trains probably good oh my god everyone else needs attention the unend the welcome to whack-a-mole it's railroad whack-a-mole this is kind of like factorio almost there's always another thing that you start working on in the midst of doing something the four is waiting at Dillsboro needs to go the three is stopped End of track didn't tell us because end of track, and that's hard to say. Um, at Connolly Creek. The one is taking on water, presumably finished at Whittier. The five is stopped against switch, lined against it at Ella, and we're switching the paperboard. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm gonna go whack those moles with my big mallet. That's it. I'm getting me mallet. Um, and uh, we'll be back at the end just a little bit here. All right, pay no attention to the stupidity that is happening on stream. <laughs> on screen, not on stream. We're not live. It's fine. Um, I finished switching out the paperboard, finishing all my activities at this end of the railroad, and we just kind of punted the last couple cars to the interchange train, which uh, basically ended up being not quite as long as the east or the westbound was. The westbound was. A ton of cars, bunch of stuff, and it's made it to Bryson. We'll deal with him in a minute. Um, but it, uh, <laughs> it ended up being a pretty solidly long train. So, oh, and those cars have decided that that's as far as they're going to go, and that's cool. All right, well, we'll go get them. Feck. Feck it. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. I had some fun switching paperboard as per usual um got some stuff taken care of there got all the stuff figured out the log job spotted everything um and the, the log job the log job's actually been uh it was kind of frustrating i'll show you in a second um i have an odd amount of cars for the jobs that i do It almost made me want to get rid of my Barker's Creek set out as close and easy as it is still, but 
because at Barker's I can spot four cars, I found out. You can jam and shoehorn four cars in there. They're almost loaded. And they're apparently complaining about it. Um, here's fine. And anywhere vaguely near the buffer. Railroader.exe has stopped responding. It's fine. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, so we could fit four cars there. And then at Connolly Creek, we spot five and four, and we can fit the four there and, and the five here. But you can't get any more. That's the max amount for those sidings. Um, and then up the hill at Connolly, we have the other six cars. So we have 11 log cars. They're all ready to go. Um, and then we have this one lone sad pulpwood car. I don't know how many cars could fit in here. Probably only four again. So I don't, I don't think there's any benefit to be gained there. We could run up to here. Um, and I don't know what these spurs are for. So if we take a look. P3, 4, okay, so you could put a bunch of pulpwood cars on those, Load th log 3, yeah, that's a head shunt, nobody wants to deal with that, so that's annoying. So we'll probably never use that, um, <laughs> just because <laughs> geometry is not helpful, and uh, we're all about trying to do things easy and fast in this game here, right? Because it's logistics sim, and how do you be good at logistics? Uh, the answer? Use a gun. I mean, hang on. That's uh, that's the that's my TF2 days coming out again there. Now you um, just try and be as efficient as fast as possible. Be polite. Be efficient. Wait a minute. That's still uh, still the TF2 days coming out there. It's fine. And we have all these trains, and they're all confused about how far they can go. These engines are both done. We're gonna send them to the shop. Get them serviced loaded up again that engine's still fine but it needs fuel this is our uh this is this is ending up being our paperboard switcher the 10 wheeler not a very good switcher because the way it is but um that's what we what we're gonna keep using because it's what we have uh, and then these are our road engines the four and the five so We'll get him, uh, cut off the cars there. Dumped all these cars off to interchange in one track. Only kind of brown, it's fine. We did, uh, we did no harm. I promise. Wink. And, let's see, how are you, how are you doing, friendo? 99%, 98%, do you need any fuel? You need water, something fierce. All right, well, we'll just send him back to Dillsboro. Full track speed, just go do the thing. We'll send him all the way back and then we'll, we'll fuel all those three engines, get them stowed where they need to be stowed or prepped where they need to be prepped. And uh, log job, log job is still waiting on time. And it's 16.44, so it's 4, 4 p.m., basically, almost 5 p.m., 4.44, um, in not military time. And we have some switching to do here at Bryson. So I think we're going to do that before we proc time over, because if we proc time over first, it's going to get very dark. Um, it's very much winter in the game. Uh, it gets dark very early, and the headlight does not offer much love. Um... <laughs> Which is kind of frustrating, but um, also kind of realistic depending on the railroad. So, you know, uh, beggars, cheesers, you know how it is. All right, we're going to Dutch drop this into the freight house siding. And uh, several of you viewers pointed out that there is a setting for how drunk the engine is. How much it waggles back and forth. <laughs> Which, um... Uh, uh, okay. 
cool. Like, I'm glad there's a way to turn it off because it's a little silly. But at the same time, it's a little silly and it's kind of fun to watch. So, um, I think I'll watch the big dumb 462 be drunk. I just don't know why that's what the, the default is. Anyway. One to standard oil, and then three to Appalachian hardwoods. All right. Brakes! Ow. Okay. Well, it became slightly more brown. It's fine. The engine's vaguely fine, which is okay. It's only 4%. Four, 4%. They're really only, like, perfectly shiny and beautiful. All the cars or the engines or whatever, like, when they're prim and proper at 100%, as soon as you do something to the choo-choos, they, uh, they start looking pretty heinous pretty quick. Which is fine, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just doing the tip. It's fine. Whee! I don't think we'll come off going around this, do you? I think we'll be okay. Uh, okay, well, maybe we'll come off. It's fine. Yeah, see how brown that got? It looks like it's totally wrecked. <clears throat> don't make me look at this cab. Come on, game. I don't have, remember what consist this is. Alright, re-railed. And you thought you missed all the action. Spoilers, I brown my trains all the time. It's a constant process on the ES and DT. You could probably do 20 around this, probably. All right, well, the first bit of our train's got to go to standard oil, so we'll dunk, get some separation, dunk again. Hopefully it's enough separation. Oh, that is just going to clobber that other car. Break on! Break on! And they're brown. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's probably fine. Uh, R1. Which one is it? They paid me for it, even though that one derailed. It's fine. R1 is the small one, and then G3A and B is the far... Okay, so we have a bunch of work to do to spot these. Of course. But it is cool uh, getting across the line and then switching. Like, that's... It's a neat little bit, honestly. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Accelerate, please. Alright. Hey, look, we're doing 15. It's <laughs> poor Choo Choo didn't ask for any of those. Oh, and these are ready for interchange now. Of course they are. Well, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll bang into them. Pick them up, and then, then we'll do the, the drops. We can, we can bring these to Bryson as a, as a start for our next day. Come on. Pow. All right. Looks great. <laughs> it's, it's always a bummer. It's like, yeah, we've uh, worked through the day and we picked up everything that was ready and, and now we're not here. And, and did I forget these? No, no they, they weren't ready to go at the start of the episode and now they are. It's realistic that they get ready midway through the day, so... Alright, 
we put that, put that. Let's get out of the way. Our brown Pacific. And let's not clobber this too hard. Only hard enough, it's fine. That'll probably make it to um, to the spot, don't you think? Probably. And welcome to the cornfield meeting of all time. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Yeah. The game doesn't like that. The game does not know what to do with cars that do that. Just, uh, just push the set views out of the way. Please, please, make the sounds go away. Oh my god. Come on, please, please. I guess I could just move the engine back a smidgen and it'd be fine. Get out of the way! Come on! My R key's gonna be broken after this! <laughs> You clear the points, friendo. I know your knuckles not clear the points, but that's not how trains work. Come on. Come on. Go. Get out of the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on! Just get out of the way! Oh my word. Your knuckles clear, bud! Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! Thank God. Alright. For your insolence, boxcar, I will not be very nice to you. Bang! You saw what's uh, on the tin. So. Are these in order? No, they're not. Of course they're not. Alright, so we need to... We're not going to fit there with all these cars. So we're going to have to drop to here. This is going to be a whole thing. These are going to be some spicy dunks. Oh, speaking of spicy dunks, while we're while we're letting that get more distance, we should probably go re-rail the stuff at Standard Oil that we just like left in the dirt. It's probably not fair to leave them that way. Oh, it's all the way over there. Such a long way for a little pawn to run. Come on. Run! Alright, re-railed. And then, alright. Here we go. Get a little speed. More than 10 is fine. Let's unhook. Get in the clear. Throw out the switch. Give it the beans. Come on. Get 
get past the switch with this car. And we'll drop it just the same. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Vaguely 10-ish. I hope you clear, I hope you clear, I hope you clear, I hope you clear, I hope you clear. Yes, you do. Okay, cool. We can spot the rest of those however we need. That's gonna hit the buffer. Bang! Like a bouncy ball. Didn't end up having any damage, though. Say hello to see that. And that guy should make, should make it. Should. Yeah, it'll be fine. These guys will go stash them in the Bryson yard. We'll use the yard for yard purposes. So we're not gonna run this back tonight. That engine's gotta go to the shop. Look at how brown it is. Look at how much the pipes need to be redone. Just kidding. Uh, look at how brown it is. It needs to go to the shop. It's fine. And we'll let this kind of roll in there. Uh, label ticks over. There we go. That car is only worth 60 bucks. Bryson? That's a bummer. I guess the worth of the cars is not just the distance, it's also their contents. Which seems fair, so no complaints. So yeah, our other engines are all, uh, they're all stacked up, ready to get serviced at Dillsborough. And then the Connolly Creek log jobs just gotta run. Oh god, that's gonna go in the dirt, yeah. Cool. Must be on the, I must be on the ground. The train's on the ground, but I must be on the ground to reroll it. All right. The choo-choo has become brown. Come on. Get over your drunken seasickness, train. Oh my god, come on. Well, we're gonna get these things spotted up um, in the yard here. Just gonna drop them right before that, get this thing serviced. And that's gonna be another day in Railroader here. So uh, we're gonna run the log job last thing. But uh, that, that's going to be a lot of time on the main waiting for AI, so uh, I'll spare you that, I think. And next time, we'll uh, we'll deliver some cars to Bryson for signal stuff. Is there is there anything? Can we up up anything harder than we've already upped it? Because I know they do cap tiers based on your performance. So uh, as much as I was joking about wanting to ruin my safety rating, that's not actually a, a smart thing for making money. Shocker. Spoilers. Um. <laughs> but um, we do have pretty good contract tiers with most everybody. Looks like I can't get anything higher, really. So, that's cool. Tie that brake there. Keep that running. Let's see, Appalachian. Two is the best we could do. Freight house. Yeah, no, it looks like, uh, looks like all of our contracts are as high of a tier as they can be. So, uh, we'll live with that. But yeah, I'm gonna get everything serviced up. Get everything put away. We're on the log job and that's gonna be that. But uh, yeah, ne next time set up for signals and then maybe signals the time after that. Or maybe I'll run that day uh, tomorrow off camera. Let me know if you'd like to see it or not. If you just wanna wait and see the signals, then great. Let me know. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time.